Why did To Catch a Predator get canceled? This has been an episode I've been saving for a while since we do a lot of To Catch a Predator. I was going to wait until we're kind of like done with it to do the big, it's been canceled, so we're done with it kind of send off. But in light of the things that have been going on in the world lately, I figured it's kind of a good time to talk about what happens when powerful people get called out for doing bad things. And now if you know about how the Catch a Predator thing went down, they, they, they made some errors which caused them to get sued and shut down but leading up to that the story is pretty interesting and it's called the Assi the assistant district attorney predator let's watch this is the first time we've come across an assistant district attorney what makes you think that's him because we trace it back to his mind space 56 year old lewis william mm. conrad jr is a prosecutor in a neighboring county yeah the old prosecutor who's sending people away like sending these kind of people away for a long time he's He's out there hitting someone, and they, they, they back to his MySpace? God dang. Wow. How old is this? <laughs> I have my top eight right there. Oh, Ooh, yeah, you what? had to pick your top eight friends. Uh, <laughs> MySpace, all the friendships that had to go there to die. <laughs> he sent penis pictures. From Ooh. perverted That's justice William alerts Conrad. police. He got I pretty got sexual on the phone and just recorded. We're chatting with him right now. Dang. <laughs> He's got him on the phone. They're like, he's sending his wiener pics, man. Get him. Wow. So obviously they're they they got they're catching a big fish, right? And they're all very yeah. excited, they're like, oh my gosh, this is going to be huge. We well, first off, we need to get this guy because he's bad. Second of all, imagine the ratings through the roof. So that, you know. The, oh yeah, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, which is going to play into the decisions they make later. The 56-year-old chats with a boy who says he's 13. Mm. The prosecutor pretends to be a 19-year-old college student, and he's trying to catfish. Oh Jeez. my goodness. He's sitting in the wiener pics. He's going all, and then the guy even asked him, is that what that is? And he's like, oh yeah. Is that your Yes. But Conrad never shows up. Still, in the eyes of the law, it makes no difference. In Texas, he's already committed a crime. So they try to get him to show up and he oh. doesn't. He don't show up. I wonder if he got tipped off. Like, like you know, they got a sting set up in this area. And he's like, oh, oh where are not going? Where, where, which area? When I just hear that it's the chief felony prosecutor of a neighboring county, Yes, I did. No, it can't be a lot of times and very loudly. I said, let's confirm everything. Let's make sure. Mm, there's like, it can't be this dude. Now, this is just like a poor, a poor dude, you know, uh, you know, who uh, any of the other ones we've watched, you know, they'd, they'd go get him. But he's like, no, not 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 this not this rich white dude. No, but no it can't we be know him. Confirm, because, you know, he it will affect yeah. our job if we arrest the wrong guy. We got We got to make sure it's him. Is certain he's got the right man. He takes his evidence to a local judge and gets an arrest warrant. They have a they have a warrant for his arrest. Well, he's got to be aware of a warrant for his arrest going out as well. They could they could probably get around without telling him specifically. So okay, so if you're let me just catch you up. If you don't know the, how the story goes, they go after this guy and they cat they get to where he is and he. Well, he, excuse me. He unalives himself, right? He, uh, obviously, he's got the tools to like, like, be aware of what's going on, you know, legally, right? I would assume. And if it's just like he's already like, oh god, they got me. Police are waiting for another judge to review the evidence and grant a search warrant of Conrad's home. They already have the arrest warrant. Something does actually go wrong on the um, perverted justice's part. Like, so far, if you're watching this, it's like, well, this is pretty, you know, cut and dry. Yeah, they got this guy. Go get him. But something, some, there is something wrong. I just can't remember what it is this time to explain to you what it is. Apologies. But we'll, we'll, we'll get to it, right? But for some reason, Conrad abruptly stopped chatting. And mm. perverted justice discovered he deleted his MySpace page. Oh, so he just stops talking to them, deletes his MySpace. Oh, bro, he got hit. He got, he got tipped. He had to, get tipped. <laughs> he, he had to have gotten tipped. They're like, like, dude, they're wow. in there talking to you, right? Stop what you were doing. Abort. Like, why would he just like randomly be like, ah, you know, anyway, I can be get off the phone here and uh, oh, yeah, delete no, all my no, stuff. No. Yeah. So they go to this dude's house. They come to his house okay. to get him. Chief Myrick has turned over the job of arresting him to local police in Conrad's hometown of Terrell. Yeah. A sergeant who's known the prosecutor for more than 20 years knocks on the door. And again, this is the first time that they've ever done this. Like they, they always have the sting house and people show up and they get them. But this time, yeah. Yeah, as far as like the law is concerned, they, if they have the proof, of this guy's doing it, they got an arrest warrant. They've got judges looking, look, uh, looking over it and they're going to get him. But Conrad never comes to the door. He never comes to the door. He's in there though. He's in there. You can see a TV and a computer are both on. 
since police suspect he's inside, refusing to answer the door, the Tyrrell police oh call for backup. Brother. So they're getting ready to go in because they're like, yeah, we're pretty sure he's in there. Wow. Somebody's in there. Somebody. And, yeah. and here, like, if it's him that's in there, why isn't he coming to the door? Why is he deleting his stuff? Like, what's going on? This is very suspicious, right? I mean, this is a while back, but they, they had, you know, security cameras. He's probably got one outside and can see him. I was going to say that he probably saw them somewhere. And if he got tipped off, whoever's tipping him is still tipping him. Exactly. You know? Like, hey, man, they're they're coming for you, dude. 45 minutes until the tactical team arrives. Actually, he probably doesn't even need a camera. He just look outside and see all the cop cars are lined up out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he look out the window. They're here. Then we hear a faint crack. The officers force their way in. For almost five minutes, we don't see or hear anything. This is, uh, yeah, this is when she breaks the news about what went down. They go, they go in and, uh. Yeah, I'll let her do. I'll let her explain it. As they made entry, they confronted the suspect. I believe he's in the hallway, and he told them he wasn't going to hurt them, and then shot himself in the head. And he had a pistol in his hand. Small caliber. Yep. So that's uh, they. They came in. He was in the hallway. Took the easy way out. I would say is what he did. <clears throat> yeah. And it's like they didn't even talk to him. They like uh, other than just like coming in. Like I'm sure they tried to talk him down and everything. But like de he's deleting things. He's not uh, answering the door. He's like making his ultimatum or what. I don't even know if he like even demanded anything or what. Or if he just like just just did it. Yeah. Like if he wasn't <laughs> if it wasn't him and he wasn't guilty. He's not acting like it. Yeah. It's 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 kind of like. There's no due process in this, but it's like, why, who else, like, why would anyone ever do that? It's not, it can't be because, like, I think they are going to ruin my life because of this and my career's over with. It's got to, like, I just can't imagine right. it's not more serious than that. And if it, and, and, and you know, if, if it was a son or if it was a, a I don't know, a, a family member or something, mm -hmm. you know, you have a reputation as as a cop, right? You know what I mean? Especially as the assistant DA. Yeah. And you knew that you were innocent. You would just say, hey, guys, I'm on your side. Let's figure this out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he still, he'd be arrested and questioned, and they would probably, like, they, they spent so much time trying to make sure that they had all their ducks in a row to even go get him that he could, they'd probably still even give him the benefit of the doubt then. Like, he'd be like, it wasn't me. Right. Let's, you know, let's figure yeah, out who let's it was. let's figure it out together. Yeah. And then... Yeah, this doesn't seem, and, and, and the way he, the actions he took, you know, make it make it seem like, hey, they were pretty pretty right, you know, fairly accurate. Yeah, the system. Assuming is all we can really do, but uh, at the, at this point, but let's keep watching and see what else they say about it. It's clear his condition is grave. So they helicopter him out too. Dang, what if he's still alive at this time? Hospital in Dallas, where he later died. Oh, okay, so he's not dead yet. He's still alive at this wow. point. So I thought he, I thought he was dead. Immediately, but instantly, yeah, apparently not. Conrad's boss, Ray Sumro, the district attorney in Rockwell County, has been critical of Chief Myrick, saying he rushed to make the arrest without consulting him first. So, this is the part this is the part where it begins, it, the stuff kind of begins to unravel. The beginning of the end for uh, to catch a predator. His the dude's boss is critical, like, he didn't even talk to me about it. It's like, well, okay, that's sure. We didn't know how big the rabbit hole went or how deep you know yeah i was gonna say as far as like what we've seen so far i mean it's this is i think this is the dateline episode that they air editing it they can kind of spin the story however they want to really but they can't make up the fact that the dude called and and, and got like i think they've two judges to look it over so two, far two different judges to get two different warrants yeah yeah oh, man yo get that garbage out dude mm -hmm. like i get it that was your guy and you want to protect him and you want to know why you weren't contacted well, it's because, you know, they already lost their trust in, in him, you know? Who knows? Yeah. Well, they're obviously going, they, they go the route of, like, well, this ma a man died, and so now we got to, like, scrutinize everything you did. But, yeah, this is where we're, we're still going. The prosecutor's sister, Patricia Conrad. My family and I have experienced a great deal of hurt and sadness over this situation. Yeah, and so she, I'm pretty sure she's the one that, like, gets it all done, too. Like, she's... She's mad, and uh, they start spinning the story of how he's a victim uh, in this case. Yeah, anyway. he sure acted like one. But I still think there's something. I still can't remember what it is, but I still think there's something wrong on perverted justice part, too. But I mean, I'm, I'm hoping they'll they go over it. To prevent other people from becoming victims of such reckless actions as those taken by your employees, which were set in motion by a self-appointed group acting as judge, jury, and executioner. 
that was encouraged by an out of control reality show. His gun was the one that shot, right? No one else, none of the other officers shot him. Yeah. And it's uh, exactly. Why would she exactly. not consider it that? She's she's reaching so very far trying to get something out of this. Well, they put him in a situation that made him do that to himself. But why? Where he can why? talk. Yeah. They're gonna arrest Ex exactly. him. Exactly. That's you like you that, are innocent that, until proven guilty, right? Yeah, his sister goes around and does other interviews where she pretty much says the same thing about judge, jury, and executioner. They're judge, jury, and executioner, like that they killed him. Uh, this is on Saul's channel, by the way, uh, where we watch a lot of our To Catch a Prayer stuff. They kind of go over like more of what happened that's not on video. All right, uh, Conrad's sister Patricia uh, brought a uh, one hundred and five million dollar lawsuit against NBC. And in June 24, 2008, the lawsuit was settled out of court for an undisclosed amount. So they, they settled. I just don't see how she wins this. Yeah. So she claimed that Dateline was directly responsible for her brother's death by hijacking police procedure. She accused the police of failing to protect her brother and placing the catch a predator's interest of high ratings before their duties uh, as law enforcement. Uh, NBC denied that it had any involvement in the decision to make the arrest of the police uh, were merely acting on a tip supplied from perverted justice, which is true. Like always. Yeah. The state, the uh, state investigation into Conrad's death found evidence of online graphic chats. Uh, the chat logs covered topics such as sex, you know, all the, like, all the bad stuff they talked about in the episode, three laptops, a cell phone and several computer discs found in the home all contain pornographic material and some including child pornography. According to the state's investigation, the attorney general's office granted the request saying the submitted documents consist of porn, uh, photos of unidentified males who generally appear to be juveniles, but Patricia's combat, uh, Patricia Conrad's husband, the attorney said there was some stuff on there with the persons that you could not ascertain whether they were underage or not. He said, Oh yeah, he's got some stuff, but, uh, you can't, you can't tell how old they are. And yeah. the district attorney's office refused to pursue charges against the other men caught in the sting. All because of this lady now wanting her brother. Mm hmm to go down like what he was. Yeah. So all these, all the guys caught in the sting, they all got let go. And I hope that her name is plastered all over that. I hope her name is the reason why all of those men who were caught in the sting were let go. And, and I hope that she has to live with that. A settlement comes out of insurance policy. You go to trial, which I'm confident we would have won. It comes out of the news budget. It ties up months and months of my time. I'm sad for the sister. I truly am. Uh, I like how Chris Hansen says that, like, if they took it to court, they would have won, you know? Yeah. I was going to say, like, it sounds like all their ducks were in a row. Yeah. I, I, w I wish it, I remember reading something about it. I just can't figure out or find what it was that something with perverted justice, they didn't have something. They, they didn't like the last, some, some. Because oh, we talked about it before. Yeah. yeah. We learned from one of the police officers who then was working for Murphy that also what was found on that computer was evidence that helped convict Conrad's boss, the DA of that company, yeah. for financial, financial mismanagement of the office and theft of money. He ended up doing federal time. So his boss that was mad about it, there was evidence on there that he was, he, he was cooking the books and he went to jail. <laughs> Oh, wow, dude. Oh, yeah. how about that? Yeah. How about all these? And, and why, why do you guys come to me? This is the, like, the reason why we're doing this episode, too, because like, like all the Puff Daddy stuff or the P. Diddy, Diddy stuff is happening, right? And you yeah. got all these very powerful people and stuff like this that's happening to, to catch a predator starts happening. Like yeah. people start throwing their weight around and things that would affect your, your average Joe and sit in the jail for forever starts to get like swept under the rug or, you know, police start getting fired from their jobs and shows start, you know, canceled all this stuff starts happening. And the people that have it, like want to avoid that happening, like the people in the music industry or whatever. And even like when you told me the other day, like um, they interviewed whoever it was talking about how Diddy needs to stay hidden because they're going to kill him. Yeah. Suge Knight. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even think about that, about how he's not even hiding to not get arrested. He's hiding because all these powerful people are going to make sure he dies and can't, Use all that blackmail Can't that he testify, has. Testify, right? All that blackmail <laughs> needs to go away, right? Yeah, it's just, it's it's insane of how like messy it gets when you get to people that are swinging around their money and their and their power and their positions. Uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, the fact that that they went through. I didn't even I didn't even know the cops even like went and they like checked with all these different people before they even went, and then they still got shut down.
Like the, to catch a predator, still got blamed for this dude doing that to himself. Well, it's because the sister was was really making a big stink out of it, and yeah, they were gonna go talk to your to the man. They're gonna talk to your brother and figure out what happened. Yeah, they got they got this freaking. Like, he was gonna get to defend himself, but he didn't want he didn't want to take that route. Yeah, because he knew he had to have known that they were gonna get his computer anyway. Yeah, that is uh that is why to catch a predator ultimately got canned. You know, who cares about the potential victims or the victims of uh, of the man who shot himself? We're just, oh, man. Right. He did everybody a favor, really. Uh, I'll say it. Screw it. By hmm. just removing himself from the equation. But, uh, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you know what it was that Perverted Justice was missing, I'm pretty sure it's the chat logs. But let me know for sure, like, what it was uh, in the comments so we can all... We can all see it. And today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Say toast, my friends. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.